Good day grade 6, this is teacher Ian and in this video, I'm gonna teach you about this base and exponent. So we have here 2 raised to 9, ganyan to basahin, and the 9 here means exponent, called exponent, and the 2 here is called the base. So yung base, this is the repeated factor. The exponent tells us how many times we need to multiply 2 or the base to itself. So, it can be right as this. 2 times 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 2. So, we need to multiply 2 to itself 9 times. So if we count this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So exponent, and the exponent tells us how many times we need to multiply the base to itself. And the base is just the repeated factor. Siya yung inuulit-ulit. And that's basically what you all need to learn about the exponential form or notation. And... Another thing is this, I prepare a table with some interesting exponential notation. First we have 3 raised to the 0 power, so ganito siya isulat at ganito siya basahin. 3 raised to the 0 power. At remember, any number that is raised to 0 will be equal to 1, except, of course, 0. 0 raised to 0 is still 0. But any number, let's say 10 raised to 0, that will be equal to 1. 1 pa rin. Let me show you. 10 raised to 0. 1. So any number yan, kahit anong number ang 199 raised to 0, still 1. So any number raised to the power of 0 will be equal to 1. And any number raised to the power of 1 will be equal to the number itself or yung base natin. For example, you have 5 raised to 1 or can be read as 5 raised to the first power. This will be equal to 5. So may error. Okay, yung ball pen. 5. Tandaan. Kapag ni-raise natin ang base sa 1, mag equal siya sa base itself. In this case, we have 5 raised to 1, kaya 5. Then, ito, common example, 7 squared. This is can be read as 7 raised to the second power or 7 raised to 2 so, or 7 squared. But, ganito pa rin yung kalalabasan niya. 7 times 7. 7, multiply mo ng 2 times kasi sabi ni exponent. Sabi ni exponent, dalawang beses mo, i-multiply ang sarili mo. Sa sarili mo, parang ano. Anyway, 7 times 7, 49. So that's the value for 7 squared. Now, I think that's enough as our introduction. Let's start answering some examples. So I have here letter A, B, C, D. So let's start by answering, of course, letter A. So letter A, 4 cube or 4 raised to the power of 3 plus 5 raised to the power of 2 or 5 squared. How to answer this? First, we need to find the value of each of this term. So what is the value for 4 cube and 5 squared? So to find that, Dandan muna, gawin natin expanded form. Paano expanded form? Sulat lang natin, 4. Sabi dito, 4 raised to the power of 3. Meaning, multiply natin si 4 sa sarili niya 3 times. So, 4 times 4 times 4. Tatlong beses natin na multiply. Close the parenthesis. Plus, ito yung sign, 5 squared. Or 5 raised to the power of 2. Meaning, 2 times natin yung multiply si 5 sa sarili niya. That simply means 5 times 5. Now, 4 times 4 
times 4 is equal to 64 plus 5 times 5 is 25 and now we simply need to add 64 and 25 and that's very easy 89 so that's how we add to exponential notation or the basic operation in exponential form let's try subtracting the sub, subtracting them in letter b 3 raised to the power of 4 minus 2 raised to the power of 4 and now you already know the drill so what we need is to first make it as expanded form so 3 multiply natin ng 4 times sa sarili niya 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 minus 2 raised to the power of 4 2 multiply natin ng 4 times sa sarili niya times 2 times 2 and 3 raised to the power of 4 or 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is equal to 81 minus ito 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 16 equals 81 minus 16 is 65 that's it next c let's try multiplying them 6 raised to 5 times 6 raised to 4 let's make it first an expanded form so this will be 6 times 6 times 6 times 6 times 6 times 6 uh, times 6 the 4 times 6 times 6 times 6 times 6 masyadong mahaba lumpas sa tayo sa D lipat natin yeah. pinunta ko na dyan continue tayo 6 raised to 5 6 raised to 4 hmm. sumabra pala isa so alam nyo naman gagawin 6 raised to 5, meaning 6, multiply natin ng 5 times to itself. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Kompleto. 6 raised to 4, multiply natin si 6, 4 times to itself. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then 6 times 6 times 6 times 6 times 6 is equal to 7,776 times 6 times 6 times 6 times 6. That would be equal to 1,296. And multiplying these two numbers, we will get 10,077,696. And that's the answer for letter C. Last, letter D, let's try dividing them. Equal sign, 8 raised to 10. So, medyo mahaba to. 8 times 8 times 8 times 8 times 8 Ang ilan na? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 Divided by 8 times Ilan? 4, 8 times 8 Yan So 8 raised to the power of 10 Is 1 trillion na. Laki. 1, 0, 7, 3, 7, 4, 1, 8, 2, 4. 1 trillion, 73 million, 7, divided by, this will be equal to 4,096. And dividing this will, will be equal to 262,144. But there's an easy way to solve this. So, kapag pares tayo ng base at inas tayo mag-divide, we can simply subtract the exponent. Kasi pares sila ng base, pwede natin subtract, subtract ang exponent. So, ganito. 10 minus 4. Pwede siyang maging ganito. 8 raised to 10 minus 4. And 8 raised to 10 minus 4 is 6. 8 raised to 6. And if we try to solve for 8 raised to 6, ang lalabas, ganito rin. Tignan nyo. 8 raised to 6. 
262,144 parehas. Ganon din kay letter C, parehas ng base. Tandaan, sa parehas lang ito ng base na gagawa. Parehas ng base, parehas 6. So, pwede tayong maging 6 raised to 5. Kung dito sa division, nag-subtract, dito mag a -add. Plus 4. So, 6 raised to 9. And 6 raised to 9 is equal to dapat ganito rin lumabas 10 million. 6 raised to 9 10 million 77,696 parehas. So, that's all. About the expo exponential form, the base and exponent, tandaan lang. Sa base, exponential form is composed of base and exponent. Exponent tells us how many times we need to multiply the base to itself and base is the repeated factor. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.